Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Had a good trading day today. I uh, hope everybody did very, very well. Um, the action is just out of control. What, what, what makes this bull market even, I don't want to use the word special. It's getting there. It's definitely starting to get into some really good historical areas. But last night, right? Last night, if you were just kind of flipping through Twitter or flipping through any news source, you'd see flashing lights, the, the, you know, the whole impeachment saga. And I, I said, wow, okay, you know, um, this is going to really test the bull market. I think, you know, let me, let me look at where the futures were. Futures were literally unchanged. Like the market did not care. It was, you know, again, maybe it was baked in the news. Maybe just the market doesn't care. Okay. And I think that's the most important part. And when you have a linear market that doesn't care, that's in euphoria mode, okay, that's going into the end of the year with basically all-time highs, that, you know, you're going to see a lot of exaggeration. You're going to see a lot of names that, you know, are going to go absolutely bananas. And again, I, I would never compare this to uh, the internet craze, okay, it just wasn't. Okay, now we're looking at you know, two, three names that are going parabolic. You got your Teslas, you have your Netflixes of the world and the videos, you know, a lot of names are going Facebook. We'll talk about Facebook in a second, uh, going very strong. You know, back then, you know, you had 20, 30 stocks at once doing this. So again, before anybody starts comparing this to the dot-com era, slow your roll. It's pretty damn good, okay? It, it, there's definitely going to be uh, some historical value uh, on the Trump first year, uh, first term uh, presidency. Uh, but again, how can you, I mean, how can you really complain, especially if you're trading uh, on the beta side? Uh, the one thing that I saw today, and again, I, I go on stock twits. I just kind of want to see, um, like some sort of, I like to see sentiment and you see just a lot of people just complaining about, oh, this market this chop. I don't know what market you're looking at. That's chopping and this, that, but this is, I mean, I look, if, if you think there is nothing going on in this tape, okay. And you're complaining about nothing's going on. You really should highly consider reevaluating your your process and your approach uh, for 2020 because this is just insanity, just absolute insanity. Uh, and today turned out to be really strong, very very strong day. Again, cues are just kind of grinding. It looks like they're going to 215, just absolute grinding. You have, you know, just just ridiculous moves. Tesla continues to be. Uh, which was a really good trade today at the open. Uh, Tesla, you got Netflix, you got you got Facebook that finally broke out. I think Amazon goes tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, you know, you got that just one after another. Nvidia just keeps on rolling. Just just monster monster moves. Even Beyond, even Beyond gave us a move today, right? That, that's how you know this action is really really good. Again, guys, do not overthink it. it. It's just again we're looking for that. You know, we're looking for that stock to wake up. Just like Netflix did three days ago, just the way uh, Tesla did two weeks ago, the way the video woke up. And now we're looking for Amazon, right? We're looking for Amazon and it's still above that range. I still like it. It's still above the range. It just needs to confirm this. If it could just confirm this tomorrow, again, it's all about rotation now in beta. If it could confirm this tomorrow, you could get a move, you know, 15 to 25 points to Tesla's channel. Again, fingers crossed. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, in a few minutes. But again, no news is good news. My mom used to say no news is good news. Macro wise, we're strong. Uh, we got four, five days, excuse me, five days to Christmas Eve, right? We're almost uh, at the at the stretch for New Year's, uh, for New Year's Eve. So uh, again, 2019 was pretty good. Knock on wood, 2020 will uh, have some sort of similar uh, similar performance. But again, if you're a new trader, start out 2019. Just understand this is not normal. No, this is not normal. Uh, but it's damn good. So let's talk about today. Again, there's no really good reason to kind of prolong the macro point. We're strong. Market's strong. Uh, iRobot, I wasn't watching. IRBT uh, 51. Let's see here. 51. Uh, no, it still looks good tomorrow. It, it didn't trigger. It did not trigger, guys. I still like this IRBT for tomorrow. 
right? It did not trigger. I like this uh, 51 area. It still looks good for tomorrow. Keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow, guys. IRVT. It didn't trigger. Tesla. And, and again, the reason why I said for experienced traders only, and I, I talked about this morning strategy, I, I said that the first move should come to 401. When you're that close to 400, you know they're going to they're gonna take it. And that's exactly what they did. And I said for experienced traders only, uh, I took the trade. Very, very aggressive move. Uh, right into the 401s initially. Again, nobody thought it was going to go to 406 today. I thought what it was going to do is go to 401, 402, then trap and maybe come on come on in. Uh, it actually did that initially, went all the way down to 397, 398, but just a monster move. Uh, for experienced traders only, 398.50 needs to build for a push to the upper Bollinger Band, $400.50, 401. Uh, and that's what it did. I mean, it was a really, really good trade. Um, I sold it pretty much at the top of the channel. Uh, here was the, here, you know, here was the entry right here. I sold it, literally, I sold it right here. I sold it within 30 cents of the highs uh, until it pulled back and just exploded again. Okay, but again, you, you, you can't predict the, the closing price, uh, just the interval. So very good trade on Tesla. Uh, initially, I put Roku as a short, right? We'll talk about that in a second. Obviously, never confirmed that. Uh, BYND. I really like the BYND chart. Uh, I got long at the 78 level. Uh, my highest sale was 79.30. So here's this. Here's the 78. It confirmed. Uh, it went to like 80 and change. My highest sale was 79.30s. And then, well, beyond turnaround. Again, this isn't Tesla. Okay, this isn't Netflix. It's it's going to lose steam. You always want to make sales. So BYND uh, was very very strong. Facebook is a monster. I still think tomorrow it actually has. For the exception of Amazon, who didn't trigger yet, who has not triggered, Facebook is just on the first stage of breaking out. Uh, Facebook, again, needs uh, 20430 to build to go. Uh, Facebook exploded today, absolutely exploded today. Uh, here was the, you know, here was the pivot, right? Here's the pivot right here, 20430, and just exploded. Oh, oops, wrong stock. Excuse me, wrong stock. I know they look a little weird. So here, here was the uh, 30430, right? 30430 right over here, and exploded. Stock closed, the highest close in this whole formation. Uh, stock closed at 20630s. I think there's a shot. We saw uh, 210, 220 call buying today, short term. Uh, we've actually saw even call buying uh, for 210, 220 for tomorrow's expiration. So uh, Facebook still has a lot of upside buys. So that was strong. Hun never triggered. I actually still like this thing uh, for tomorrow. Uh, OSPN, I, I didn't, again, I didn't trade OSPN. Not really my thing, but uh, again, we talked about this $18 break on last night's video. It built 18, went as high as to 18.40. Again, looks like it, it looks like it wants to test this 19 area. Uh, OSPN we just talked about. MU never got up to the 55.60. Uh, BURL never got to the 2.30. Uh, obviously, perfect. I mean, you know, market opened up, and gave us that three point move in in in, in a minute, right? A minute and a half. How long, right? How long realistically were we in the stock? It was just a really really uh, strong aggressive move right into supply. 78 build, beautiful, you know, absolutely fantastic action right from the morning. Uh, and then this one was right before the highs, right? So 137.80, 138, okay? It, if I could tell you this move was just, it, it, it felt like if a candle could have Viagra, not to, you know, not to turn it into rated X, but if a candle could turn, you know, could pop a Viagra, Roku did it off this level. So we talked about this 137.80, 138 level, right? You're talking about bingo. This is like, this is beyond bingo. This is uh, whatever whatever you want to use. So here was Roku, a 137, right? The reason why we talked about 137.80, 138, it was the two candles right over here. You see that, guys? 137.80, 138, right? Once it built, look, look at this move to 41. I mean, this was just outrageous, right? This was an absolute outrageous move, and it took like, six, seven minutes. I mean, just an absolutely huge move. Uh, big, I mean, just a big, big move. So um, yeah, oh my God, right? Oh my God. This is literally, oh my God. This was in minutes. Oh my God on Roku. Uh, KRTX, I still like it. And again, I said, I could look. I, I, for all you guys who started trading me just this year, okay, you kind of know what we're doing, man. It, it's pretty special. Uh, I think 2020 is going to be really, really good. Again, every year that we can put underneath our belt, okay, and figure out what not to do, it makes things a lot sweeter going into the new year, going to the new week, going to the new day, because the most important part is you are in complete control. So, um, you know, for all you guys who are thinking about pivots and want to know about pivots, uh, again, I, I, I give you my word, 
if you try these pivots, okay, for you know even for a month, okay, if you try these pivots for a month, uh, you're, you're it's gonna be very it's very rare that I've met a person who's who's dived into the process that turn around and say, ah, it's it's okay. It's okay. I'll try something else. So if, if you do trade beta and uh, you have a decent size account, uh, you know, and you got it, you know, you're just kind of missing that little edge. Um, I, I think you'd like it. I think you absolutely like it. So let's talk about tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's talk about Amazon. I like Amazon. You know, I think if Amazon could finally reclaim, right, it finally could reclaim uh, this top of supply. Okay. I think the stock could put up a $15, $20 candle. Again, Everything is turning, taking turns into um, taking turns into rotation. Netflix, Tesla, Nvidia, Roke, right? So how can I, I just can't fathom this rally happening uh, without Amazon? So let's definitely keep an eye on Amazon for tomorrow. Uh, some other names I definitely like. Congratulations definitely for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.